Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Ventures Inspirations. I had to do a voiceover. Unfortunately, the music in the uh, Goodwill is so loud. <laughs> I guess people enjoy it. You know, it's entertaining. Um, I don't enjoy that loud music. Um, this was a beautiful, uh, like a country style basket. If it was antique, I would have purchased it. But it's very modern. And so it doesn't have that weight or that feel, but it was gorgeous. And I met the Goodwill on Piedmont Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia. Those angels were so cute. This lady had them in her buggy. A cute little silver plate cake stand. A deer candle holder, silver plate. A cute little modern bird cage. <laughs> They try to imitate. I like that hay stuff in it. I never thought to do that. So that might give me an idea for a birdcage that I need to, um, you know, decorate and hang up. Because I have quite a few hanging around I need to get to. Some beautiful uh, fake plants, candle holders, wine glasses. Uh, this beautiful imitation plant, which almost came home with me. Uh, this was gorgeous. I believe it was by Andrea. Yeah. A beautiful fish. Uh, it says striped bass by Andrea, 1987. That was a beautiful find. Beautiful find at a great piece, great price. But unfortunately, the fin had a chip. I didn't want it, a chip on it. I'm kind of mad I left it. Those beautiful crackling glass uh, vases. And that went in the cart, but I didn't bring it home. Finally, I left one. And um, she's showing off her buns. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, I think I might have purchased her, but her arm is broke. You see her hand? Poor lady. Oh, no. But what happened to her hand? Like, it, and it said Japan. It wouldn't uh, focus, but it said Japan. Beautiful piece. For just $2.10. Amazing. That you can buy for $2 and a dime. Isn't she gorgeous? Beautiful. Victorian style. Clothes. Um, I thought that was real, like a sponge, but it was a hobbyist piece. But it was beautifully done. At least I think it was hobbyist. Because I think like mud pie or something kind of makes stuff like that. Uh, that reminded me of Delph. But it wasn't, it was made from Thailand. But it had kind of like those Delph swirls, those blue and white swirls. You know I wanted to bring this beautiful little rooster home. Was it chicken or rooster? A rooster. Beautiful antique. I think it was three dollars. See that beautiful green on his feathers in the back? I didn't even show it. I'm so sorry. Oh, I think that was a candle. It was extremely heavy. So you have two candles. That was gorgeous though. I don't even know why I didn't put that in the cart. <laughs> that was gorgeous. A heart-shaped candle. It was so heavy, I couldn't lift it, so I just slid it back. <laughs> but I should have put it in the cart. Those are some bookends. So cute for your children's room. Some little candle holders. A beautiful little tea set, which I'm shocked I left, and it was so cheaply priced. Um, the tea uh, pot and other pieces were on the other side. I Actually, I put them together so someone can buy the whole set. But... um. It wasn't done too well, so I left it. And that was a cute, some angel with a little angel. The, sh the shelves were very scarce, hardly anything on the shelves, but all the shelves are new, and I guess they tossed out a lot. And so you mostly had mostly modern on the shelf. Like all of that is modern. And you had one or two uh, vintage or antiques on this end, and I, you know, I love Ray Dunn. If I had the space, that would have went right in the cart. <laughs> I don't have any, I don't even know what I would do with it. Maybe put uh, paint brushes in it or pencils, but I already have stuff for that, so. And it's Christmas. Ho, ho. Yeah, it's Christmas, so. Those are some angels. There was a couple of them around. This was a beautiful piece with those cherry blossoms. I wanted to buy it so bad. It was by Carter's Club. I mean, Charter's Club. Beautiful find. Beautiful find with that beautiful P on the bottom. 
But what would I do with it? It didn't come in a set. So I left it behind. Hopefully someone else will buy it. This was a cute modern sign for $6. Welcome to our kitchen. Bon Appetit. That was so cute. Is it Bon Appetit or Bon Appetit? I think it's Bon Appetit. Now, you know I wanted to bring that with me because I'm always saying that. But I don't even have anywhere in the kitchen to hang it. <laughs> so... Uh, I guess I could have set it on the shelf if it was shorter, because it could have sat under the cabinet. It might it might have just fit. Well, it's too late now. And these were some beautiful antiques. Beautiful antiques. Beautiful. Um, I think you can put a lamp in there or a candle. Gorgeous. Both of them. Beautiful. Mm. I wish I had a spot for them. And you clean those and shine them, they will be beautiful. I wasn't sure what that was, a map of something. And they had some number. I'm not sure what those numbers were for. That was a cute little country basket, wooden basket. And you see the shelves were empty. I wasn't sure what this round Megamajigum was maybe for candle holders, a nice big K for Kathy or Karen. That was gorgeous. And then I found this Hummel music box. I already have two. I don't have that one, but it's Christmas and I don't even have space for the ones I have, so I can't pick it up. It's in great condition. And you have to open these horizontal. I always forget, even the ones I have in my house. It should be a little velvet thing in there to cover that music box, but you can easily replace that. Wasn't sure what that was.
And I did love how they had this section all organized. It looks beautiful. And watch people just come and ruin it. I mean, you can just take your time and pull one out and put it back. Just uh, all the shelving is new. It's beautiful. It smells so fresh and clean inside the store. Wow. And this is a high traffic store. It's like right in the heart of the city. Some beautiful games. If you have a family, wow, you can get some beautiful games to entertain the whole family. And if you have little ones, they can get beautiful gift toys. It's like Christmas. Oh, that was a beautiful doll, brand new in the box. I didn't see the price. That was gorgeous for a little girl's room. There's the price, 20 bucks. That's not bad because it came from Kmart. And Kmart wasn't here since centuries ago. And I'm sure it was at least, you know, 50 to to $100 at the time it was uh, being sold. Candyland. You know, I don't understand why people come. Oh, this was a beautiful plant. I wanted it so bad, but I couldn't pay that price. And this was gorgeous, too, although it was modern. It was beautiful, like a satin glass. I guess as you put a candle in there and burn it. Wasn't that gorgeous? They wanted $14. Ooh. Why do people come to the thrift store to talk on their phone out loud and then they have the speaker on you can hear the person talking and you can hear them don't they understand that like it's so annoying like can't you move to the side or something if you need to talk on the phone or lower your voice and they talk so loud super super loud i don't know does that bother anyone else no no Was that just a Canadian flag, I think, we just saw? <laughs> no, the British one, yeah. I think, I don't know, it went by so fast, I'd have to watch the tape over. I just saw red, white, and blue, but I was busy ranting about the people on the phone. <laughs> see, you, you shouldn't talk about people because you miss out. You see that beautiful new in the pack for your uh, baby stroller? It's a plastic. We use those a lot in New York because people walk in New York. Uh, you don't have a place to park your car, so you have to walk. And even the bins were empty. I was shot. All these bins are new. It's just beautiful. Those crowns looked different. I thought maybe it was makeup or something. I wasn't sure, but it was just regular crowns. And they had some beautiful office supplies. I didn't pull any. I have tons of office supplies. I don't need any more. Any more. Unless there's something really that catches my eye. That was beautiful. I left it. It had a little smell. So I didn't get it. And then I saw this. I didn't buy that one. I did. I, I I was on my best behavior. I have like five of these already. <laughs> um, you know, antique. You want to say uh, office supplies? I don't need any more. I have some beautiful ones. In fact, I have one to share. I mean, I have some to share with someone. But I normally can't resist them. I'm uh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Paper clips, I have tons of that. And those are those uh, curtain hooks, you know, the um, antique or vintage curtains that you put those hooks in it. What's the name of it? It's a name, I forget. In fact, I have some beautiful uh, curtains. They're in my crawl space. They may have rotted out, I don't know. I might need to pull them out. Maybe I'll put them in my bedroom. Is it two? I, I can't even remember. I haven't seen them since I moved in. They've been in the crawl space since. Well, actually, a year later, they went in the crawl space. I 
And then I'm showing you their new uh, cubbies. Isn't that beautiful? It's all new. All the bookshelves are new and all the books are nicely neat. And they have the men's blazers. Every, the store looks beautiful. Super, super impressed. Overwhelmed. Um, these stores, uh, these Goodwills are able to do this because they're making so much money. They're able to renovate. In some places, oh my God, they have like humongous Goodwills. They're like grand, grand, grand Goodwills and they are huge. They have these big giant racks. That was nice. Some of those books are quite pricey too, like $50 and up. I think you should have books on your bookshelf $50 and up. Of course, paperback books don't, aren't valuable, but some of them are. This caught my eye because of the uh, sunflower, of course. <laughs> One special dear friend of mine. This was a beautiful vintage book, but I left it. It was in another language, so. Was it Spanish? Yes, that's Spanish. And then I saw this large roll book, and I didn't get it to purchase. I just got it to look through it, and I did. And, you know, I should have Googled it, because it might have been worth, you know, 100 bucks or so. You never know, but. Um, I couldn't bring it home. I just couldn't. I don't have a bookshelf here. Well, I have one, but it's full. So no more room for another book. And it's a small little one. I'll show it to you one day. It's in my son's room. When I moved here, I had to get rid of four bookshelves. Beautiful. A set of three. That was a whole set. They were gorgeous. And then I had one random one, and there was nowhere to put them. So I didn't even bring them here. I donated them for free. These caught my eyes. Another piece of Ray Dunn, which I hate that I left, but why would you need that much honey? That's too much sweet. Like, oh, I guess if you have a big family. I don't even buy honey. It's so overpriced, and um, when I buy it, it tends to stay around so long, so, because it's just so sweet, so I don't buy it anymore. I stop. When my son is in the house, I'll pick up a big, giant bottle. I don't sweeten my tea anymore. I just drink it regular. And this was the Christmas aisle. I'm gonna play a little song for you. Um, they had nothing special.
and now we're in the dish section um, they always have beautiful sets of um, dishes uh, plates bowls those were some heavy glass pieces, but they were kind of buffed up and scratched up. They were gorgeous. Great price. Uh, most of this stuff is modern, and then the vintage or the antique ones aren't set, so you don't really want to purchase it, you know, and they always have beautiful Ikea, that uh, sage green, that is gorgeous, did I buy, no, I didn't buy anything, didn't see anything that caught my eye, they just kind of had the basic stuff, I really, really don't need any china wear, but, um, you know, if something catches my eye, I will purchase it. Um, these, I wanted to purchase, but I don't know what I would do with them. They were beautiful. And they were by... Who were they by again? Wait, I'm going to show it because I don't even remember. Mm, trying to get it to focus. Danish. Oh, Dansk. Dance. Beautifully made. Wow. I should have bought that. That would have been a beautiful uh, flip. Those were gorgeous. They were in perfect condition. That's pottery, by the way. It's beautiful. It, I thought it was false craft or hall or something like that. These were false crafts. That's the vintage false craft. It's um, beautiful pieces. That was that sponge wear, so I wanted to pull it out, but um, I realized it was the same ones we saw last time with the snowman. Yeah. Someone was talking to me, so I skipped a bit, sorry, but we're back at this. You know. It's a beautiful set, though. That's all you're getting, though. They don't have the bowls and cups or nothing to match. This was beautiful. I don't even know why I left it. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like that tortoise shell design. And it was so well made. I I assumed it was vintage, but I'm not 100% sure. This was beautiful too, but it wasn't as well made as the other one. They were the same price, a dollar and change. I did put the, uh, the brown one in my uh, cart, but before I check out, I always go through my cart, and then I just decided to leave it because I don't know what I would do with it. I don't drink any type of wine, but I guess I could have ate ice cream out of it or something. It's just beautiful. And I like that it was just one, you know. This was gorgeous. Uh, sugar and flour set. looked like one was missing, but not necessarily. Some of them come in sets of threes. That's the glass and the uh, coffee mugs. It's so beautifully organized, new shelves, and everything's just beautiful. This was a nice find, nice antique. You have some animals on the side, lions. Uh, beautiful with the uh, rose petal in the middle. That is beautiful. Oh, and now we're in the linings. Oh, I'm glad they didn't have much, so I didn't uh, pick up any, because this is my, this is the section that I struggle in. That was a beautiful pillow. I didn't even go through the towels. I, I like to buy Ralph Lauren towels, or like vintage ones. This was so cute. If you had toddlers, I was trying to see what it was. It was um like blankets. Those were so cute. Oh, I know someone picked them up for their little girls. This was a gorgeous duvet cover. I was thinking it would look nice for my son's room, but um, I just I, I couldn't I just couldn't afford to pick it up. Twenty dollars. I really wanted to purchase it, but it was way out of my budget. Ah, I should have just gotten it. It was brand new. I'm sure it was worth at least a hundred bucks. Uh, now nah, I regret it. Maybe I'll go back later and, and see if it's still there. It was gorgeous. It may still be there because a lot of people don't like to pay those high prices in these stores. This was a beautiful, I think it's like Bentwood. Um, 
I'm not sure if it was original or a newer model. I really couldn't tell, but it was gorgeous, and it was only $30. What a steal. Oh, my goodness. If I had a place, I wouldn't have ripped that tag off fast enough, and that pillow was to die for. It was so soft and vintage and cushiony. But I don't need it, so I left that pillow. And some cute wooden bookshelves. I would have loved to bring that home, too. I'm not into this style, but those are cute. And this beautiful pinstripe, beautiful ottoman chair with the ottoman stool. I mean, the wingback chair. Actually, it's like a low boy with the ottoman. And then I'm looking at some more linens. This caught my eye. I was going to purchase it, even though it was expensive. Because it would be nice for the spring. It's nice and thin. Um, it wasn't terribly high. It was beautiful. But the inside was like pickety. I didn't show it. The inside of the quilt. You know how it has like those balls? Yeah, you could see it right there. I didn't sh I should have showed it, but I guess that wouldn't have mattered because it's on the inside, but hmm. and you're gonna have a sheet in between that and your body. Oh, well, if I go back if that's there, maybe I'll purchase it in that um duvet. And then I'm gonna show you some dresses. Um and I think after the dresses, I think that's the end. And then you'll see my haul. So I'll play some music and enjoy. Um, if you're new here, please don't forget to uh, comment, like, and share. And if you'd be so kind to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.
Um, hi everyone. Um, so I'm back from the Goodwill. My house was so cold. <laughs> I don't even want to take off my coat. I guess I need to get the heat running. But um, I wanted to show you my haul. I bought this beautiful. Um, I had to sit on the couch. I'm, my legs were paining me. Um, his to uh, Tommy Hilfiger dress. It's so so cute. Um, it's not my size, but it looks like it can fit. You know some. Clothes are larger than some, so you can kind of, it has this beautiful belt, and I'm trying to show it to you. <laughs> it's kind of like a beauty, you know, I'm into that Asian style, that uh, flowery with the uh, dark background. It's just so gorgeous. It's in brand new condition. I just can't believe it. It doesn't have a tag, but whoever had it, maybe wore it once. <laughs> I mean, it's brand new, and I love the Tommy Hilfiger buttons. This is gorgeous. I, I don't even have to wash it. I just put it on. That's how new it is. But I will wash it. And that was uh, $7.24. Uh, that was quite expensive. I don't like the Goodwill clothes, but man. And that store has renovated. They were doing so much construction from the last time I was there. It looks amazing. All the shelves are brand new. They have all these new uh, cubicle organization little cubbies that they uh, put in. And then I bought a puzzle. Yes, I found one. A White Mountain Christmas book. It's gorgeous. I love these type of puzzles. I'm real picky with these kind. Though. I don't get them all. But this one, you know, I love Christmas items. So I had to get that. And that was $2.09. And then I bought these cute little... Um, I guess they're, um, um, I don't know what they are. And don't ask me why I bought them, but they were only a dollar and change, a dollar thirty-nine. And it's by, I believe it's vintage. It's by, it says, um, D-O-Y-I. I'm not sure, do we? So maybe that's a newer brand, but they don't normally do stuff like this now so i'm assuming it's vintage i'm just not familiar with the brand i think i've seen it before on like a a plate or something i had but that color's gorgeous and they could be for resale or i need to have little planters for those plastic um greenery uh pieces that i'm always picking up i'm gonna do a tutorial i just gotta get enough product yeah and this one was a dollar nine by the same company and they're in great condition and it's not flashed on, you know, and they're very heavy. That's why I believe they're vintage. So, um, they're cute. This is a, um, beautiful shape. See, it's so cute. It has a pointy bottom. So cute. They're very Christmassy too. And then this one is round. I love the ridges. So I'm glad I bought those two. And I wouldn't have bought them if they want, they, they were $2. I mean, a $1.39. So that's why I got them. I got some eyelashes. I know my granddaughter wears these. I don't know if she could wear them, but they're brand new in the pack for dollar thirty nine. So it says I mirror. I don't know if they're cheaply made or I don't know nothing about this stuff. I do not. I don't know nothing about the hair, the hair extensions, the hair weaves, the wigs. The eye, I don't know nothing about the eyelashes. I never got into it. I guess if I had like a husband, I would have been doing things like that. But I'm just, I'm a natural girl, you know. Um, Maybe if I had the money, maybe I would try things, you know, every now and then. But I don't know. I've always been a natural girl. And then I bought another Asian-inspired beautiful robe, which I don't need. I have a million of these. I pick them up all the time and all. I have every color. But I don't have one like this. I'm trying to find the top so I can hold it up. But um, I think you saw it in the video. It's beautiful. You see that print? It's just gorgeous. These beautiful uh, flowers. Oh, it's beautiful. With that black background. It's amazing. I love it. I've been wanting an Asian print with a black background. It's hard to find them. And uh, this is in great condition. The only thing is that the ro the um the uh the string is uh the belt is missing. Which is always, always missing when you buy these from the thrift store. But I have a black silk one and it has a um a belt. So I'll just borrow it when I wear this one. Oh, I have a pink one or um and I even have like a brownish one. So I have three options for belts. So uh and this was seven twenty four. 
This was a small but sweet haul, you know, very small. Did I buy anything else? No, oh, I bought some lollipops. I didn't get any chips this time. I got to stop with the chips. I'm gaining too much weight, getting too bloated. So I really wanted a bag of those chips. I love them, but I can't get them every time I check out. I can't. I can't eat them every day and every week. I wish I could, but uh, unfortunately I can't. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And um, I haven't edited it yet, but I'm going to try and make it small. I didn't shop too much. I was in pain today, but God bless. And I pray everybody's feeling better than I am. <laughs> and if you're going out, even if the temperature's warm, especially if you're over like 60, still put on your turtleneck and a coat because the sun is out, but you, that's how you catch, that's how you catch like the flu and a cold, a head cold, sinus issues, because when the weather's changing, we tend to change our outfits really, really early. Don't do that. I know you want to, but don't, 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 don't. Today was like 50 degrees. So I said, I'm putting on the turtleneck to protect me from that cold getting in my neck. And it's nice and fluffy and big. And I even took a step farther. I put on my beautiful <laughs> blazer. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have it on in the store. Oh, I was trying on things in the mirror. I didn't even film that. Well, yeah, I, when you're in pain, you just kind of, I was just trying to check out. But I had a few more other dresses, but I left them. Uh, one was gorgeous, but it was too small. And another one was too expensive. It was nineteen ninety nine. I try not to buy things for nineteen ninety nine at the thrift store. I really try not to, um, because you go to the thrift store to spend like you know four dollars and under. So I try to stay under that. It's bad enough the clothes are almost ten dollars each. I hate. I shouldn't even look at the clothes section in the Goodwill because they always have beautiful, beautiful, cute little vintage outfits and. You know, I haven't found any Ralph Lauren lately. That's been real depressing. I haven't found any Ralph Lauren. Yeah, so, um, okay. God bless. I'll see you next time.